At Utah Valley University, we have one of the best biomechanics labs for athletes, maybe in the country. And that's probably even more specifically true for golfers. And so over the course of the past couple of years, I've been actually able, through the great support of the university and my college, been able to piece together some of the most state-of-the-art equipment in the world of golf biomechanics. And that includes state-of-the-art motion capture technology, where I can put little markers all over the golfer when they come into my lab and markers on the golf club and watch them move. And in the past few years, I've actually been able to even get markerless motion capture. Now this is the future of biomechanics. It's not this marker-based systems. It's using video cameras to pool together images and then use advanced AI and algorithms and all these kind of scientific ways to start to build skeleton models inside of those videos. And I was able to get this system in my lab to analyze golf swings. I have a full simulator uh, that has all the most state-of-the-art technology that your professional golfers will use. I have putting analysis systems. I have portable ways that I can look at golfers. And over the course of a few years, as I've been to various golf events and conferences presenting my research, what I've started to find out is that I really do have one of the best golf biomechanics labs in the country. Uh, it's the kind of thing that even some of the top golf companies will reach out to me to say, hey, can we talk to you a little bit about some of the technology you're using and what do you like about it and how could we incorporate it into some of the things that we're doing? Now, at Utah Valley University, I use it for a couple of things. One is to uh, do my own research, right? Looking at how golfers generate club head speed, right? I look at how they push on the ground or how their bodies move in different positions with the camera systems and my force plate technology. And I really try and uncover the ways that they can generate more club head speed. And that's something I've able, been able to actually utilize to test really high level athletes and work with them in ways to help them generate more club head speed. Recently, I've also been able to start working with our men's and women's golf teams. And this has been really exciting for me as a passionate golfer to be able to start to analyze them in really intricate details. Build these reports for the golf coaches based on all of the technology that I'm putting together. Work with their strength and conditioning coaches to find out what's the way that we can actually target their own golf game. This is the kind of thing that it works for high level athletes like our college golfers at UVU. Uh, it works for the professional athletes that I've been able to work with. But this also works for just every random golfer that you meet on the street. And golfers are kind of a unique breed where they're these people who are really, really passionate about being really, really good at golf. And so it's been really awesome for me to kind of describe some of the things that I get to do in my lab, to utilize these fancy motion capture technologies, to use these training principles of biomechanics to understand how golfers move and what they can do to move better. Injury reduction is a big thing in the world of golf biomechanics. And so understanding the forces and torques that are placed upon the back in a golf swing and how maybe I can limit some of those if I change the way that the trunk is moving in the golf swing, if I can change the way that the hands are positioned at different areas of the golf swing. And my technology really allows me to inform a lot of that decision. Tire utilize data myself to inform the player and work with them, which I do a little bit of that, but also to then give information to coaches where they just get everything they would want to know about their golfer. This has been kind of a cool thing for me. If you'd have told me a decade ago that I would have the best golf biomechanics lab in the country, I would have said that you're crazy. But being able to have that at a school like Utah Valley University, to work with the athletes that we have, to really dive into the details of how they move, has been incredible. And it's opened awesome doors where I get to go to these conferences and, and speak with golfers and work with golfers. And they always ask, them, ask me, well, where are you? I say, well, I'm at Utah Valley University. They'll say, like, what is that school? And I'll get to talk about some of the great things that we have here in terms of the largest school in the state of Utah and the support we have for research and the support we have for our students. And it's been an exciting way for me to kind of take the name of Utah Valley University out into the country and even to some of the international events that I've been able to be a part of. It also tends to be a pretty cool talking point to the people that I meet that want to ask about biomechanics. Now all my buddies are wanting to come into the lab and have me analyze the way they swing and the way they move uh, in ways that can help them get better at golf. And so usually I try and decide, you know, how much do I like this person versus how much do I want to beat them? And then I can decide how much I want to help them when I come into my lab. But golf biomechanics is an awesome aspect of biomechanics and it is exploding. A lot of the markerless technologies that are going to be run through your phone and your tablets are being developed in ways to analyze how any athlete could move, but especially looking at how some of these golfers can move. 
And that's gonna be information that's gonna be fun to be at the part of this cutting edge research, cutting edge data to be able to look at the way these athletes are moving to help them get better at a sport they love. Golf and biomechanics go hand in hand. In fact, about 15 years ago, I was sitting in my undergraduate biomechanics class, having really no idea what I wanted to do for my future career. Some of you may feel that way. And I had a professor start talking about golf and biomechanics. And I loved golf. And I loved my biomechanics class. And I went and talked to him after class. And he said to me, just wait till the entire class unfolds and you'll see the linking between golf and biomechanics. And it was at that moment that I said, I want to do golf biomechanics eventually. Now, luckily I'm at a university that really celebrates the work of their professors in a way that's not just about getting grant dollars or getting the most amount of publications, but about getting your students excited about research and getting them involved in the process and really putting your passions behind the science that you're excited about.